up, everybody? It's George Gabriel, and this is part seven of You Are Using Logic All Wrong. In part six, we looked at your sample rate and what the proper sample rate is to use for logic or for anything so you can prepare yourself in case you ever have the opportunity to get on TV or get in a film or get some of your music on that stuff, what sample rate and what bit rate you wanna be at because that's what it kind of requires in the industry. Now in part seven, we're gonna look at the last step which is saving your files and why you may be saving your files wrong and the best way to save your files in logic. Check it out. The final thing that you're doing wrong in Logic is you're saving your sessions wrong. Now, I know that it seems like, oh, well, just save it as one nice, nice little Logic file. A lot of people do not use the folder option, and I don't know why. They just want one little file, but that is wrong. You don't want to do that. Why? I'll show you. So let's say I got my awesome composition here. And I just need to save this because, you know, this is going to be my next hit right here. Okay, so now I'm going to do this. I'm going to save as. And this is where you get this option. Okay, so you can save as a package, which sounds more enticing. Ooh, let's save it as a package. In fact, I'm going to save this as a package just to show you. And so I'm going to throw this on my desktop here. Let's save it as a package and call it the, call it the Logic Song. Okay. Yay, I've saved my wonderful thing. Now, we didn't put any audio to this, so this is not going to be as illustrative as it could be if I had audio in it. But let's do this again. Let's save as. And you'll see I get the same screen. Instead, I'm going to save it as a folder. Now, if you have a whole bunch of samples and movies and stuff like that, you can click all this up. Hey, I want my audio files in there. I want my sample audio data. Uh, you know, whatever it is, you can add those things onto it. But let's save it as a folder. Okay, so let me hide this and you'll see, oh, this is nice. It's just Logic Song. Yay, Logic Song. But then I have Logic Song folder. Okay, so what's the difference? If you open the folder, you will see that it has an area for your audio files. When you're going to mix things, it's called bouncing. So when you bounce it, it gives you a bounce folder. It also has other files that it can keep in that and you can access them. It's much easier. You cannot access your audio files if you're doing the Logic Song. It's all just built into this one thing. And it's just like, well, how do I get to my audio files? What if you did this wonderful vocal and you're like, I want to use that vocal on something else and I've saved it as a project, not a folder. Well, now how do I get to that audio? You gotta go into the project, you gotta export the audio. No, 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 no. Save it as a folder, you can see all your audio files. Do not save as a project. What it is, is if you save as a project, it's a container, basically. So if you wanna see, I wanna show what is the package contents, well, if you open that up and then you can see, well, here's some alternate takes, here's the media. But who wants to do that? Just save it as a folder. So those are just a few things of how you're using Logic Wrong. Subscribe to my channel and I'll show you a whole bunch of other ways to improve your workflow in Logic because that is what this is about. Sounding like a pro, improving your workflow. I also have lots of other tips on guitar, bass, mixing, tons of stuff. So subscribe and I'll see you next time on George Gabriel Music.